Live at five, it's offer review, and we are midpoint on the Night Terrors Antivenom event. And um, I'm getting a little tired of blitzing myself. And for me personally, I'm going to be okay once I get my Antivenom to six stars. And uh, Reminix pointed out that uh, this is kind of weak sauce after number 28. Uh, I mean, I understand that not everybody's finished all the Dune things, but these these ones down here are are not super scarce. A lot of them are at least three or four of these are uh, farmable in the Doom One. Uh, I'm gonna be happy if I get to 28 because uh, yes, I need those. Yes, I need those, but right here, not so much. Also, a uh, big shout out to Yuletide Bringer. Uh, we've been talking about Arena Store and the Kingpin orbs. And I've been saying, hey, these kingpin orbs are great. Uh, they have tons of training materials. They have purple gear. They have orange gear. And we did some fun math. And I'm going to start assessing them at, at worth at least $1 a piece just because of the value of the training materials. There's T4s in there sometimes. There's there's purple gear. There's gold gear. When, they, when they're trash, it's the kingpin's the worst part of those orbs. But the kingpin orbs that we're talking about are fool's gourd. And then also shout out to Cadwin. He says, buy Nobu and blue care from the war store. Change my mind. Let me help you change your mind. No! Don't do it! It's trash! Anyway. <laughs> All right, we got an interesting 10 for 10. And I just want to thank um, Scopely, Fox Next, Scopel Next, whatever, for bringing this back. 10 cores for 10k gold. Uh, I, I will say that the arena would be worth that because you could convert those into that kingpin orb if you want. Blitz is probably the one that's not good. Raid's fine. War's fine. I'd be happiest with war and arena. Let's go. Uh, so I think this is fun. I'm glad that they're doing this. Okay, I got war store. You can't see it. It's right here. But I got war store. That's probably the best value right there because that's almost a... That's like five, five sip shards. Anyways... I don't like these. I'm pretty much done with this event. Um, the only way that I could justify someone telling somebody to justify purchasing this is if you really need those pieces that I just showed on the other screen. Also, six of these, yes. And so one or you can do one complete blitz rotation with your entire roster if you have a full roster and you get about one of these orbs. So six orbs for 20 bucks. Great character, okay rewards. Great character, okay rewards. So uh, that's the only way to look at this. Let's move on. And uh, yeah, I I'm actually starting to think that this is a better deal than in this event. You know, just just you know, do this. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm at 191 out of 200, so I'm coming up on a six, uh, six, uh, six star anti venom. So I'm done with this, man. Uh, but this is probably a better way of doing it than this event, frankly. I don't know. I'm just, I've come to that, I'm coming to that conclusion. I'm, I mean, it just seems easier to do this, right? You know, if you know, if you're not, unless you really need those rewards, you know, unless you're like really, you know, need the rewards that are right here, you know, and I, I know that uh, not everybody has gone to doom, but eh, I don't know. Anyways, I wish there was like a, like a red star character or more. I mean, the, there was uh, not a lot of SBCs in there. I don't know. I'm like, free stuff's free stuff. Keep my mouth shut. I just, I, want, I always want more. Anyways, let's move on. Yes, I like this offer. Yes, I do like this offer. Let's move on. All right. Uh, no. Okay, we're just going to keep going. We're going to move past that. All right. Elite four-star orb offer. Okay, so this is um, better than the normal pricing. The normal pricing on this on Elite four is... Uh, one Elite Four for 20 bucks. So this is two Elite Fours for 30 bucks. I just have, it's, I wish microtransactions, man. Just micro, not, these are macro transactions. Um, I get way more value out of these than Red Stars. I really just do. So much more value. Um, hmm. This is, yeah, I think they're going to sell a ton of these. I, the problem I have is that it's 30 bucks. 30 bucks to upgrade two characters. What if I pull like Ravager Stitcher and I just don't like the surprise mechanic of that. But here's what I do like. I do like when they have a boosted drop rate for a character I like. And I believe Anti-Venom just fell out of the boosted drop rates. 
Um, anyways, I'll come back. To, anyways, there's nothing to buy for science on this. I mean, eh. I mean, I bought these before, and I got a duplicate, and another one I got, like, a five red. I mean, with one of these orbs, so this is two orbs. With one of these orbs, that's how I got my five red anti-venom. So, anyways, I just think that these are better deal than, um, than even red stars nowadays. I mean, once you've got most of your roster at three and four stars, red stars are not as important. I mean, they just kind of, the, the regular red stars. Anyways, let's move on. I think they're going to sell a ton of these. Do what you got to do. I'm, I, I'm just, I, wanna, I don't want to spend any money. I don't want to spend 30 bucks today. All right, let's move on. Oh. We're buying it. We're buying it. We can't, I can't, okay, so what this orb is, before I buy it, we're going to buy it though. This is a, there's five orbs. One, two, three, four, five. Each orb has a random chance of a three, four, or five on the following character. Juggernaut, Pyro, Blob, Toad, Sabertooth. And if I get any kind of upgrade, and if I get anywhere over five, I want to say anything around six, 7,000 Elite Fours back, this is a good deal. So uh, if someone could help me out in chat and add this up, uh, the amount of duplicates I get. Okay, we're going to do it. What's going to do it? All right, so YOLO, whale harder, my friends. We're doing it. All right, so the first one comes in, and what do I get? The first orb comes in, and I got an upgrade to a five red saber tooth. Thank you very much. And then I got a duplicate five red juggernaut for $37.50. We're going to collect that. Then we got an upgrade to a five red pyro. Three five reds in a row. 950. Oh, well, this is worth it for me. A four red blob. That's a duplicate 950. And then we got a four red toad for 950. And so I, and then we got 950 back from the upgrade on, on saber tooth. Oh my God. Five, five, four, four, five. How much is that? Oh my God. Wow. 8,500, 7,550. And I got a significant upgrade on a character that I, that I, I I'm, I'm a fan of right now. Sabretooth, Pyro, Pyro got boosted up. Look at the boost on this. He went up from 83,000 to 92,000. I know you can't see the whole screen. That He's a great character and he's, and then Sabretooth right here, which is the Emma Marauders, went from 74,000 to 82,000. All right. Boomer approves of that offer. I'm very, very happy with the way that that turned out. And I got 7,500. 7, it's like, and I have an Elite Four. Okay, right? Okay, I, I mean, I think I, I had very good pull right there. Anyways, that was, uh, that's why I like that. All right, King of Crime offer. So in Marvel Strike Force, when you can pick up 55 shards for two bucks, um, that's usually okay. Um, right now, Kingpin is almost unplayable. Right now, Kingpin is almost unplayable. Anyways, uh, <laughs> So I, I don't know if I could even suggest, you know, buying this, but uh, if you buy this, maybe, maybe he'll get a rework someday. But right now I'm not getting any, personally, I'm not getting any use out of Kingpin uh, at this time. He used to be very useful, but not right now. Maybe he'll get a rework. I don't know. Maybe he'll get like Spider-Verse tag. Ooh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, typically purple gear, if you can buy this stuff for like 10 cents a piece, yes, yes, we're buying that. That's a great deal. That's a great deal. What, we're getting uh, 150 pieces? I mean, this is probably a 10 to $15 value in my opinion. Yes, yes. All right, we're gonna pick that up. Purple gears, I gotta, I gotta probably make a sliding valuation of my purple gear. Purple gear is becoming much more abundant. Uh, they've definitely have a uh, backed off of purple gear. And my guess is that because gear tier 15 is just going to even be a more of a thing. And so they, it seems like purple gear is, is quite a bit better. Anyways, fantastic value. Okay. Endless energy bundle. Um, this, if there's double drops or something you need right now, this is a reasonable pricing. Also, 
Uh, you've got two orbs of high interest, Red Star, and that is a Anavenom orb right there. So you've got a lot of interest. Then you've got some ISO-8 energy and so on. Uh, I'm not going to buy this, but if you're under level 75 and you like, like if the, if the level cap was out right now for level 80, I'd probably be buying this just to get, get that experience on the level cap. Um, if there was a double drop of something I wanted, I'd probably be buying this right now, but I, I don't need this today. So I'm going to move on. Let's, let's keep going. Uh, right here. Oh, we bought this yesterday. Um, the reason why we bought this yesterday is because if I value red stars at $3 a piece, that right there is worth 25 bucks alone, $24 alone right there. Those are worth four bucks. I don't know what these are worth because uh, these these drop uh, one anti-venom, 1.2 anti-venoms per orb. And so there's three orbs. And then it does help advance the night terrors thing because uh, that's what it is right here. Right, right here, it does advance that. Because <clears throat> you have to open up a total of 63 orbs throughout the event for that to work. 60 something orbs, I don't know the exact number. I think it's 63. Anyways. Uh, so I bought this yesterday. I feel like I've spent enough today. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've already spent, but I did buy this yesterday. Uh, the, the valuation all adds up there. Even if you value red stars at $2 a piece, this does add up. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right. <laughs> oh boy. I'm really worried that they're not going to give us a way to get call. I'm really worried about this chat. They're going to give us... They're gonna. I, I, they didn't. They do this to Colossus on the Phoenix team. It, they just just held on to Colossus. He was not available anywhere for a long time. Uh, there's a lot of other characters in queue uh, to be released, like Red Skull and Taskmaster. They've already given us Corvus, but we've got Proxima. I have a feeling, Chad. I'm gonna call it right here. They're gonna strangle us on this character. I just got a feeling. Uh, I just got a feeling. I just got a feeling that they're gonna hang on to this guy for a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be buying this. This is outrageous pricing. 50 character shards for 30 bucks. I'm going to move on. He is one of the, the key characters on the team that needs to be high star levels too. Uh, especially since I've been running, um, symbiotes as a, you know, with Doc Ock and trying to beat them in arena just for the event and having fun. This, this I look at the, this is the character. I look at the star level and the power level. He's kind of the, that's. Having red stars and 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 yellow stars on this guy and getting his resistance as high as possible is important. Of course, Ebony Ma and Thanos are more useful even outside of a Black Order team. But this guy is, at least in my opinion, probably like the third important. Ebony Ma really doesn't need the uh, Ebony Ma's kit based character, but Thanos needs the red stars. Cole needs the red stars. Ebony Ma is just a good character in general. You know, one of the best characters in the game. But uh, Ebony Ma's kit doesn't dictate that, that Ebony, Ebony Ma works without red stars. This guy needs red stars. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, do what you got to do. I'm not going to buy this. But let's do what you got to do. And there she is. Uh, th these, uh, these characters need to be farmable soon. They, we're due. Like, there's, a, there's four characters that, you know, maybe more. But at least four characters. And Beast is in there somewhere. Where's Beast? Beast, Taskmaster, and Red Skull. And then Proxima and Call. Where are you? Come on! First Wednesday of the month, so that's a week from tomorrow. Uh, something is going to be released. Uh, I don't know what that's going to be. I'm going to guess that it's probably Proxima, maybe Doom 2 camp. I don't know. We can only speculation. Anyways, I'm not going to be buying this. Let's move on. Uh, this is reasonable pricing. Also, if you're buying red stars, this is uh, reasonable. If you buy red stars at $3 a piece, which I used to, actually, they're coming down quite a bit. But, say, but still, this all adds up. I bought this other day. I'm not gonna buy it today. I'm actually pretty stocked on red stars right now. Let's move on. ISO 8 energy offer. The only risk to this offer I'm, I'm hearing is that uh, if you do buy it, uh, tip you, there is a, a chance that you will run out of nodes to farm. Like it, you just, there's not, there's only two, like ISO one and ISO two, right? And you might go through all of them with this energy. I, I've seen some people saying, well, that's not fun because then they have to core for it to refresh the campaigns, not so great. Let's move on. Also, not a fan of the ISO 8 offers at this time. They seem overpriced. Uh, the ion offers, it seems to be more in scarcity. And uh, not that I'm suggesting even this, but I know that I've bought some of the ion offers, not necessarily this one for $25, but I know that I just was such a crunch for ions. I actually have bought that. 
but right now I don't need any extra ISO 8s. I actually need more ions than ISO 8. Uh, heroic deal again, if there's some sort of double drop event running, these are more attractive at that time. I'm gonna move past this. Uh, let's go, special orb draft, gold orbs at best are worth two bucks a piece, training orbs, two bucks a piece, that's four bucks. Premium orbs, three dollars a piece. So the problem with this pack is that if you do buy it uh, for three bucks, you're potentially buying a gold orb at three dollars, which is too much in my opinion. So I'm not gonna be buying it. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, this one here is worth uh, as a dollar. Premium orbs are worth about a dollar. Gold orbs are worth about two bucks. Ability orbs have no value to me. These actually give very few of anything. Uh, yeah, they just, they're really not that great. Uh, I, I, I would think that they're gonna need to rework those orbs uh, because even people that are short T3s, you know, cause that's the thing for a long time. Some point you catch up, but T3s are scarce uh, for a long time in this game until, I mean, there's people who have been playing for almost two years and still having a hard time getting enough T3s. This doesn't give them many. It's not a good orb. Anyways, I'm not going to buy it because I don't want to spend a buck and get that orb. Uh, this is not a good deal. At best, this is worth 12 bucks plus another four bucks, $16 total, not even close to 30 bucks. Let's move on. Ah, this wall down here is trash, man. I'm just going to say all this stuff down here. Oh, what do we got? Super orb. Well, not all of it. We're going to move past those. Anyways, um, Towards the bottom, the offers get worse, especially the core offers. Not a fan of most of the core offers. Gold orb, two bucks. Red star, maybe three bucks. Premium orb, one buck. If you like premium orbs more than I do, which I don't, because they all turn into ultimate food, then this might be a good value for you, but I'm not gonna buy it because I would hate to buy a premium orb for two bucks. I don't even wanna buy it for a buck. It seems like it's not even worth a buck anymore. I might have to figure out that out. Pack of shame is trash. I, I You know what, every day, this, I'm, the more I think about Alliance War and the way Alliance War is set up, and I don't even know if I need to talk about this in offer review today, this pack really bothers me. This is the most nefarious pack in Marvel Strike Force. I hate, I hate the concept of the pack, and I know they sell a ton of it. Let's move on. I'm not going to talk about it. I think I've talked about this pack for six months straight. I hate it. Let's move on. I hate it because I actually buy it. Thanks, Jimmy. Anyways, let's move on. That's not a great deal. None of these things here are really good deals. And these core offers are not a good deal. Let's switch over to the free to play account and see what's going on over there. Uh, we'll toggle over and we'll buy the 10 for 10 because why not? Uh, we'll see what we get. Uh, like I said, uh, I got Blitz. Blitz? Hmm, come on. Probably the worst one I could have got. We're going to skip over all the duplicate offers and that I've already talked about. We're looking for offers that are only on this account. Sometimes there's things that show up on this account because uh, on my main account, I have so many things maxed out. We bought that. That was fun. Um, and we're just looking for offers that are not already been covered in my on my main account. All right, Thanos. Yeah, here, this is outrageous pricing. Again, there is limited use for Thanos outside of a, outside of Ebony Maw. I, I, think this, if, I think if you have Ebony Maw unlocked, and you don't have Thanos, then this is fine. Um, but the situations that you could use Thanos without Ebony Maw are pretty much reduced to a team called BKT, which is kind of an old school U6 team, best Kree team, which has Minerva and Star-Lord and Rocket with Thanos. And Thanos was the battery for the team, the tank and the battery for the team. Um, but today, uh, most situations, Thanos is being used on a complete back order team or He's used with Ebony Ma, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this that unless you have Ebony Ma unlocked, I don't see a lot of value in Thanos. Thanos is not necessarily the best standalone character. Let's move on. We talked about that. We talked. Oh right. So then these these offers right here, they've been here in my in my account for several days. They seem to be reoccurring. I'm just gonna quickly say I like this one. Yes, it does help you work towards unlocking Magneto. I like this one less but it's a lot of character shards and this does help you work towards phoenix with these two jokers don't buy nobu in the war store and then let's see why did it skip all the way up to the top let's go down to these these bundles i think that's the only two bundles i have right here all right let's see if we've got any other offers worth mentioning for today um i think that'll do it for today uh, on Friday, we will be doing Nobu cosplay. Hence, I'm going to keep this for a couple more days and I will 
make it white and I'll do Nobu cosplay for Friday. Um, should be some cool stuff on Thursday. And then we also have blog post on Friday. So let me know what you think about all this fun stuff. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you opened up some good stuff. If you bought that $25 red star pack for brother, what it was that mutants, villain mutants. Woo. Let me know if you got something good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.